Okay, so welcome to week two, everyone. And as you can see now, it's a traditional London weather. Um, it's not like raining heavy, but just like a little bit. Basically, I think what we have to start with first is the transport. You obviously have to go to places here all the time. So what you do, uh, you can go to the tube station, which is the metro station, and you can buy an Oyster card. Oyster card looks like this. It's just like a card holder, but when you open it up, here it is. This is the Oyster card. And basically, that's what you use to travel here through the tube and buses. I'm not sure how much it costs. I think if you're traveling on the same line, then the price is a bit less. But if you're switching to another line, it's a bit more expensive. But it's all within two to three pounds, I think. I'm not sure. And this is how you use it. I'm in a mall right now, I'm looking for slippers actually because my feet are cold and since we came to London I've just been using NYX slippers and here's the choice. I'm not sure which ones to take. I think I'm gonna take these. Yep. The thing with the malls in the UK is that there are not that many malls and the majority of the shopping that you do is just like, for example you go to Oxford Street, it's like the main shopping street and you walk through the street and the shops are all there and they're all in different locations but for example when I lived in Dubai and even in my country in Russia it's a bit different like you have malls uh, and there are a lot of them and you can just buy basically anything you want in one place while here it's not like that you just have to walk across the street and find the shop that you want which is just different I wouldn't say that it's worse or better it's just different and it's just a different experience, so it's still cool. So I just came to W.H. Smith, the bookshop, and look who I met. If you want to travel by a bus, hear what the bus stop looks like. Well, basically, you're going to know it's a bus stop, obviously. And it's got this plate which says what bus numbers are passing through here. And it says the name of the stop. And here, you've always got like the list of the places where each bus stops. For example here, bus 29, it stops in those stations. And it even has the time that it takes for a bus to get there. And it says like when the bus travels, like for example, from 6 a.m. to midnight, it travels about three to seven minutes. And when the bus is first stopped traveling and when they finish traveling, it's really convenient and it's got all the information. And you basically just use the Oyster card again. That's it. There are so many people. Look at that. That's crazy. And this is how it is all the time here. We are on the Piccadilly Circus. And these kids want to climb that tree. Good luck. And here's the famous Big Bang, which turns out it's actually not standing like straight, but it's a little bit leaned to the to either east or west. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah, here's the most famous symbol of London. And there, behind the trees, I think, is the Westminster Abbey which is also a really cool place where a lot of famous people are buried. The London Eye. Disney store. Another thing which I think is not very comfortable, you know, just in terms of convenience, is their coins. Like, when you're at a shop and when they give you a change, most of the time they give you coins. And there are a lot of coins. Look at this. So all of this is one pound. Just to show you how much it is, this is my hand, and once I grab it, okay, this and all of those are one pound. Because those are two pence, those are ten, those are one, and those are twenty. So it's two, one, twenty, ten. And they give them a lot. So at the end of the day, if you go shopping or something like that, you just have loads of coins. Just got a coffee from Starbucks and we're about to go to movies. We're gonna see Boyhood, which I heard a lot of good things about. And we've just been passing by this place. It's a British film festival, which is happening now. And yesterday I heard there was a new movie, which was premiering right here. 
and Benedict Cumberbatch was here, like right here with Kira Knightley. So this is pretty awesome. And I don't know who's gonna come today, but yeah, maybe there will be a chance to see somebody. There's another movie theater and the British Film Festival is happening there also. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there are a lot of people, so there might be some celebrities there. So we've just watched Boyhood, which was actually, I think, the best film I've seen this year so far. And it's just like a really interesting concept because the film took 12 or like 10 to 12 years to make because they used the same actors and the main character in the beginning of the film is like six, seven years old. And by the end of the film, he basically is like 18 or 19 and they used all the same actors. So it just took about 10 or 12 years to make, which is amazing. And it's just like a really heartwarming and interesting film. I thought it was really good. And now we're on Leicester Square again really beautiful here and here there was a premiere of some movie today which was shown on the British Film Festival and there were like a lot of people and all that I just showed you earlier and I think there were some celebrities but because we went to boyhood we just didn't see anyone but still had a really good time like 11 o'clock in the night now it's 11 30 and the weather <laughs> the weather in the apartment is getting colder and colder this is this is how I walk now just to stay warm and uh, here's the temperature it's 18 degrees in the apartment 18 and it's just so freaking cold we don't really know how much we're gonna last uh, and the funny thing is that from the day that we moved in, uh, the temperature was it, like it was cold, but it wasn't that cold. And only like the last couple of days when we woke up in the morning, we noticed that it's actually really cold. And that's how it is in the night also. And this is how this is like how I look now because it's really cold. And this is how my flatmate is sleeping. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're having fun and the main problem is that we don't really know how to turn on the radiators So we tried like like a few switches and stuff like that. Like for example here You see there's this thing that you can uh, Just turn around and but basically it doesn't really work I'm gonna call the landlord tomorrow to sort this out because we don't really know what to do and from what we heard is that if you turn on the radiators, which we have, like this, they are on the walls. And we've got like one or two in each room. If you, uh, We heard that if you turn on the radiators, the bills for heating are going to be pretty big. Like it's going to be really expensive to, for example, to turn it on and leave it for the night. So that at, like at least during the night it's warm here. So we're going to call the landlord tomorrow and sort this thing out because it's getting really cold and I can't imagine what it's going to be like in the winter. And uh, yeah, whoever watches this video, like whether it's my friends or just like totally random person, first of all, I wanted to thank you. It means a lot to me because it's, first of all, it's really interesting for me to make those videos and see what comes out of it. And second of all, I hope this video was at least of any interest to you and and you learn something new from it. If you have any suggestions or any like places where you want me to go and check out, 
please let me know in the comments or just tell me what you think about this video. Just anything, don't hesitate. And I'll see you next week. Bye.